What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another figure review. Today we are looking at the Mattel Halo 6 inch ODST. This is the Wave 2.5. Um, like the first wave that Mattel did, they swapped out like two or three characters in the Wave. So they did the same with the Wave 2. Um, so we have here the ODST. This was a kind of a highly sought after figure back in the McFarlane days. Um, Halo 3 ODST was a very cool game. Uh, I think a lot of people like the ODST as their favorite uh, human character, non-Spartan character. I have to say Mattel did a pretty decent job for a you know mass-produced uh, figure. It is a little bit better than the McFarlane, obviously because of the size. It's a true 6-inch scale, and they have gotten better with this uh, Halo uh, line. They don't have these stupid gimmicky snap-on armor anymore, or they really... Uh, got rid of some of that so this this uh, figure doesn't have any of it all of his armor is already attached so you can see some nice paintwork there more of a shiny silver for the armor and then the undersuit has uh, some dark black and grays in it uh, the vest is nice you have some nice pockets a nice big belt they did a great job on the ODST visor the nice blue paint there with the blue camera he does come with the battle rifle um, not a lot of design there. The sculpt's okay. It's nice. It's a nice hard plastic. It's not uh, real bendy or loose. Then you see the scope attached up top there. Looking at the back of the figure, he has a knife that is not removable, but again, some nice uh, sculpt and paintwork. You can see like on the belt and on the uniform, it has that honeycomb look, so that looks nice. Um, he does also come with the magnum or the pistol. I really like this one. They downsized. It's not as thick and a gigantic as the first wave. So they uh, obviously downsize this for the human character. That looks nice, has a nice sculpt. Both do come with pegs uh, to peg into the uh, back and then the different sides there for the holster. Um, you can get him in a somewhat decent, but not really uh, two-handed rifle pose. The hand's a little loose. It doesn't fit the uh, trigger finger that well. But you can get them into kind of like a generic, uh, you know, two-handed rifle pose. Something like this. So that's not too bad. I'm curious to see how he would fit the other, uh, the assault rifle, the other rifles that we've got in the McFarlane line. Uh, but overall, it's pretty a decent figure. If I had to rate it, I'd give it probably a 4 out of 5. It's definitely not worth the price I paid for it. I would wait till it comes out on Amazon or just the uh, list price. Right now, you don't see a lot of these. I got this off eBay. And I paid a little bit more than the asking price. As far as the Wave 2.0, the figures are the ODST, whatever that white person is. I think that's just like an elite. I can't remember if that's the Arbiter or the just an elite guy. I think he's just an elite Covenant soldier. And then I believe the Forerunner is new from this Wave. As far as new pieces for the Builder figure, you still get the Grunt, but instead he has some added, a different head in that different back piece. So again, if you're a uh, Halo fan or a sci-fi uh, action soldier uh, type uh, fan, then this is a cool generic future soldier to get, or obviously the ODST from Halo to add to your collection. Um, the McFarlane had a lot better uh, detail as far as the sculpt and the paintwork was always better, but the McFarlane toys were like three and a half or four inches big, where this is a true six inch figure. So, hope everyone liked the video, and thanks a lot for watching. Bye.